All right, so we are body working the inside of the doors and the jams on the car for both the doors and deck lid. That way uh, we get those primed and sealed up. Then we can throw the seals on to body work the exterior and then we're not running into the problem of body working to a certain level and then putting them in and, and running into problems down the road. So we're just body working the inside stuff before we do the outside stuff. And we're getting ready to seal all this off and prime it for a couple coats. And we'll throw it back together and do the outside. Travis is happy. Happy, happy Travis. A happy T-Rev is, is a good T-Rev. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. starting on the dash. Yeah. yeah. So we've got these nice machined panels here. Uh, they're going to be the gauge cluster on the driver's side and on the passenger side we're going to have a little oh shit handle and a compartment to put maybe like a phone or something like that if you're riding in the passenger. Like I said we've got these machined billet panels that we're going to try to sink into the, uh, the existing dash. And it's just making a few strategic cuts. I've cut the pocket out of this one already to make room for the bezel. And it's kind of slowly taken a little bit off until I can sink it in there. And I kind of want it to be somewhere in that region. So we'll have a little bit of a, a return. I'll have to build in here and then I'll have to build the closeout panel to get it to come back to the original dash. And then I'll have to do the same thing for the passenger side. And then Scott can build the buckets for the gauge cluster and everything once these are located. Is the idea the design is to kind of... Yeah, the design is to the mimic taillight. the taillight. The taillights have, uh, like, so the taillight is two lenses and, and then it's just ribbed on the outer body of the lens itself. So we're going to try to mimic that with the gauges and that, that similar shape. And this this charger was already kind of custom, so this dash yeah, this dash has already made. yeah, this dash has already been modified, and whoever did it did a great job. So you're just gonna build on top of it. Yeah, I'm just kind of modifying what they've got to accept our new pieces, and uh, yeah. It's a little slice here, a little cut there. Stuff starts fitting into place and it's some easy work for you. You're good with fiber glass. Yeah. I like getting it to you. Well, this is just a form for aluminum that I'll put in there. Uh, I'm going to glue this in and leave it because I can't get to the back side. Uh, so I'm basically just kind of, like I said, I'm making a permanent form out of aluminum. I'm, I'm using aluminum so it doesn't add a ton of weight to the dash. 
but I'll leave that piece in there and then I'll just use the aluminum tape on the sides and the bottom because I can get to the sides and to remove that, but I can't get to this top side, so I don't want to use tape up there. I want to use something stronger and a little bit more permanent. So make a big chunk of aluminum and glue that in place, and then we'll just fiberglass over this to get the, the round edges from the tape after. And that'll get us our gap for our trim piece too. Now that we've got that pretty located, We've got a nice little gap there for Laura to put her put her leather down in there and everything. So start to get it. Starting to get it a little better.
stretches in. Oh, oh, oh. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. It gets weird on the weekends. Name of that stuff? Guide coat. Guide coat. Guide coat. Guide coat. Guide coat. Guide coat. Yeah, Dan's wearing a guy's coat. Dan's wearing a guy's coat. Taping off the body lines. Yeah. Sharpen them up. Sharpen them up? Yeah, make them, you know, make sure you're not blocking lines into them and go to the side of the car. Make sure they remain straight. Block down to it and then tape it, lock it down to the tape. Tape the top side, block the bottom side. You guys have been putting in crazy hours, finishing up the second round of body work. No. We finished up the first round of spray primer. We're getting ready to do second round of spray primer, spray poly. Get it all locked down one more time, and that'll be our final prep to get ready to spray some color on it. And the first stuff we use is yellow stuff. What is this called? Oh, now you're asking. Closing? Clausen. Clausen is the first round of primer. We did like there. four or five coats of that. It got four coats of Clausen. We blocked it all primer. down. Super high build primer. Blocked it down. Had a few little cut throughs. We went back and spotted those back in with Clausen. And now we're going to do one final coat of Duratec. Well, it'll be four coats of Duratec. This is a different stuff. This, this spray's black. Yeah, it's going to be like a super dark gray black almost. Uh, and like I said, that we're doing that because it's going a dark green color. So a dark undercoat helps with coverage and everything on your color when you're spraying. All in all, it looks pretty good so far. It'd be good when we're all done.
So is this going to be the last round of body work? Uh, yeah, the last round of primer. Uh, cut it down 150, 220, 400. Then we'll blow it apart and knock out our jams. Start letting the green fly. Make a green. Whoop. Take, take some of that. Ooh. A lot of dust in here. Oh. Yeah. Getting the fitment issue figured out? I think so. And on it, the, the bonus is that I think the, the bumper fits now better than it ever has. <laughs> Tapped around, banged on it, yanked on some things. Made some room for it. And this this does look a little better. Do you see? I mean, it's rough, but getting that shape into it, you can kind of see. Tuning in this gap the last minute. <laughs> Final gap check. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.